get ready to go with the press conference. As always, if you wish to ask a question, please use the raised hand function, which you can find in reactions at the bottom of the screen. Um, we also have simultaneous interpretation in use this morning, so please, um, if you wish to access that, um, you can do so either by clicking English or German again at the bottom of your screen. And a couple of hands there already, so we will start with uh, Luke Shanley from Sky Sports, please. Giovanni, how is everyone given the, the news yesterday? Obviously, you have a lot of big games coming up, a, a very sad moment with, with Jimmy Bell passing away. What have you said to the dressing room to, to keep everyone's spirits as high as they can be? Well, I think too, yesterday wasn't uh, about uh, keeping the spirits high. You know, we were all very shocked about uh, the news that uh, Jimmy passed away. It was a hard day for all of us. Uh, I think everyone... Um, you know, uh, was uh, was really down, which you can imagine. So yesterday we uh, we didn't do a lot. I mean, we were all um, at the training ground, but um, of course the the atmosphere was very very down and uh, still in shock. Um, you know, spirits high. I mean, you know, I don't think we had the the feeling. You know that we had to keep our, keep our spirits uh, high yesterday. Uh, we talked about him. We we shared stories about what we um, what we uh, the stories we had with with Jimmy, the, our personal stories. And um, you know today we look uh, we look ahead um, to Leipzig tomorrow. And uh, it was a really big game already. But uh, we are very determined to, uh, to go out tomorrow and give everything we can to make everyone proud. And especially tomorrow, make Jimmy proud. So, um, yeah, today we are, we are back and uh, we're going to try to uh, prepare as, as, as good as possible for tomorrow. Uh, Ronnie Charters, please. Morning, Giovanni. I, I get yesterday, you know, football comes second. When, when things like that occur. Um, in terms of today, in terms of the players' um, mentality ahead of this huge match tomorrow, how, how are the players? Well, I mean, of course, we're still, um, we, 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 we still mourn, uh, we're still down, but, uh, you know, I think the character of my players are, are the best I've, I've seen in, in any teams I, I coached. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that tomorrow the, the character, the belief, the determination will be there. And uh, we will do everything to, to reach the finals. So uh, I think we will, we will be ready. Uh, Joshua Barry, please. Hi, Gio. Just wondering if there's any update on, on team news. Um, is Kimar Roof going to be able to play tomorrow? I don't know yet. Uh, we still have one day to prepare. Of course, him and Aaron were uh, pushing to be ready for the game tomorrow. So uh, again, today will be uh, an, an important day for both. So uh, at the moment, I cannot tell you if they're in the squad tomorrow or not. Uh, Gabriel from Clay, please. Hi, Gio. Um, you said earlier you want to make Jimmy proud. You want to make all the fans proud. How, how big an atmosphere do you expect tomorrow night? And, and how big a role can that help? You know, how, how big a role can that play in helping you to win tomorrow and get to the final? Well, I think, the, um, you know, of course, we are um, we all have the same uh, same goal is to, to reach the final. You know, my players, my staff, we all do the best we can to uh, be uh, prepared for tomorrow, which we, we're going to do. I think the fans will are always uh, important for us at home and they are uh, they are a big factor in the atmosphere. So uh, tomorrow will be uh, will be the same, and I think we'll uh, you know we're gonna have a have a noisy night, and uh, you know a noisy night we we need to uh, to overcome this opponent, and uh, will be uh, will be emotional, but uh, you know we'll be ready when the when the whistle goes. Uh, Michael Grant, please. Hi, Gio. As well as the character that your players have shown, they've shown incredible fitness in recent games. They won an extra time against Braga, then against Celtic. They looked a fresher team in the second half at Parkhead as well. Where, where is that coming from, or how much credit do they get for that? And, and does it give you confidence that they can they can go the distance, however long it will take tomorrow night? 
Yeah, they will. I mean, it's uh, physically we've been uh, we've been good. Of course, we missed some players due uh, to injuries, but uh, I think uh, also physically a lot comes from your mental uh, strength, uh, and and we have that. And as you said, to uh, play, uh, I think every game the last weeks has been big against very good opponents. But uh, we were there uh, you know, every game, and uh, tomorrow will be the same. You know because. Uh, we play against a strong team, not only uh, technically but also physically. But uh, I think we are able to match them and uh, to to give everything uh, we can uh, to uh, to be the winners tomorrow. So uh, yeah, also uh, character uh, is amazing in my team and physically, I uh, know they you know they are good as well. But you know it's it's not easy because you have to rest, recover well. Make sure you uh, do everything you can to uh, be as fit as possible for the games, and uh, the players are doing that. Uh, in of course, uh, you know also with the uh, with the support of all the the backroom staff we have at the club. Uh, Chris Jack, please. Morning, Gio. It's, it's obviously been a very hectic schedule for you and a very busy time. Have you had a chance either after training or when you get home at night? To really just sit and think about how close you are to achieving something very special this season and what it would mean to yourself and and the club well of course i mean it's um you know you have goals in your in your career as a player as a coach you want to you want to achieve uh, great things so and and you know you dream of uh you know, coaching teams in, in finals. I mean, you have that as a player, you have that as a coach, and that gives you the, the drive to, uh, to keep going. And, uh, you know, we are uh, one step away of reaching the finals. So, uh, you know, we're getting closer and closer. You know, our European campaign uh, this year has been, uh, has been great. And uh, we want to uh, make sure we extend that to the final. Matt Wilson, please. Hi, Gio. So just, just to continue that theme a little bit, it's only been three Rangers managers in, in the history of the club who have ever led the, the, the team to a European final. It would be something quite phenomenal. You'd, you'd be joining a, a very elite list. C can you afford to think about that just now? No, I'm not, I'm not thinking about any personal goals. I'm thinking about uh, um, you know being successful with, with the club. For me, the club is the most important uh, Thing now, and uh, as you said, you know it's been uh, not many times that uh, that a team played the final in, in Europe. So we'll be uh, hopefully joining a very elite group, and uh, that's all that matters. You know, you, we are all here to bring success and bring trophies to this beautiful club, and uh, that's always my 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 main target. Uh, last one for the manager to Robert Green, please. Morning, Gio. I'm just wondering if ask again about Roof and, and to a lesser degree Aaron, Aaron Ramsey. Are you going to prepare to give these guys until the last minute, or are you planning to make the decision today and whether they're going to be available? It's obviously a difficult call for you, I imagine. Well, depending how the the training will go. I mean, uh, we all, you know, when they um, got injured, we all knew that um, they will work towards the game tomorrow. And uh, of course, you know, I'll. I'll wait as long as possible, but uh, for me, the most important thing is that they are uh, physically able to uh, to play uh, a part in tomorrow's game. That's always the deciding factor for me. So the last one for the manager from Martin Henkel, please. Yeah, hi, um, Mr. Van Bronckhorst. Uh, my name is Martin Henkel, German uh, media. Um, have um, RB Leipzig has lost his uh, second consecutive game in the Bundesliga. Um, my first question would be, have you seen the game? Uh, what did you think about it? And second, especially as a former player, has will this have any impact on how to start the game um, against Rangers for the Leipzig players, having two defeats in their mind? Well, I can only talk about my players and my team, but uh, of course we have seen uh, the last games they played also in the league. Uh, not the result they wanted, so they're now in fifth place. And of course, uh, Champions League football is also important for uh, for Red Bull uh, Leipzig. So uh, they will do everything they can to uh, to win uh, the game tomorrow. We have to prepare as as good as possible. We've uh, of course played against them already last week. So 
I have a more um, better view on their players, their qualities, their strengths, um, their weaknesses. So, uh, you know, we just have to prepare our game for a really tough game against a really good opponent. And, uh, you know, we, we, we both want to reach the final. But, uh, of course, you know, I'm the Rangers manager and I'm uh, doing everything we, uh, I can and also my team to be in the final in Seville. Okay, that'll do so the manager. Let the manager go. We'll do Thank a couple you. of questions for, for James. <laughs> Again, guys, just use the, the raise hand function if you want to ask <coughs> a question. And we will go to Ronnie. Uh, morning, James. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Just echoing what the, the manager was saying there. A difficult time for the club. Um, as captain, what have you said to the players? You know, it is still a massive week, but I suppose <clears throat> you have to make that balance, don't you? <clears throat> sorry. Um, yeah, um, it's obviously a devastating time um, for the club and everyone, everyone that knew Jimmy, his family, and yeah, it's. Obviously, yesterday was really difficult to take. Um, we all took to our own to, to obviously to mourn Jimmy. Um, obviously, people are obviously still doing it now, um, but I know Jimmy would wouldn't want the fuss. Um, he'd want us to pull our socks up, roll, roll our sleeves up, and get stuck into tomorrow. And even in training today, that was that was him, uh, the standard that he set. So. Um, it's about just getting around the lads today, uh, making sure we have a, a really good session, and which I know we will. And when we come tomorrow, I know everyone will be, everyone will be ready to to go. And you know, for the, for the first whistle, you know we're going to do it for the club, do it for the fans, and obviously do it for Jimmy. Uh, Gabriel, please. Hi, James. Um, yourself included, and, and several of the players, but I really can't feel post yesterday online, <coughs> excuse me. Can you just tell us, especially as captain, what Jimmy meant to you and, uh, and meant to the players? Yeah, I loved Jimmy to bits. Um, he was one of the first people that I came, came in to see when I first joined the club. Um, you know, I remember the first, first time I met him, I asked him for the number two. And, you know, he, he'd give us some stick for me even asking him. Um, and you know we've created a, such a special relationship over like, over the years, so it's, it's it's really hard to take. And obviously the boys that have even just came in this season, they've created special relationships with Jimmy. So he's the heart and soul of this place. Um, but you know, it's 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 we have to obviously focus on the game and and try and put the best performance that he would he would want us to do. And and obviously try and reach a final where he would obviously want to go, and that's our aim. Uh, Joshua, please. Hi, James. Um, just on the game yesterday, obviously for you, you joined the club when they're in the second division, and much has been made of, of your, your your journey with the club. From your perspective, how how crazy is it to now be within a game of of a European final, and what does that mean to you personally? Yeah, personally, it means um, um, a lot um, because it's been. It has been a journey, but it's been the journey that you know it's, it's been expected. Um, we've always tried to improve each year, um, you know, from the board all the way down to to players, to youth. We're trying to improve, trying to get better, um, make the place around us better, and we want to be in these competitions, do really well with it. And you know, we've been knocking at the door the past few seasons, and you know we're, we're obviously a step closer and. You know, it would be an unbelievable achievement if we can get to, to get to the final. Uh, Abraham, stop talk, please. Hi, James. How are you? you okay. You okay. Um, how much do the players need to be nervous ahead of this game because it's such a big game, ninety minutes away from a European final? How much excited? How much? I, I guess I'm asking sort of for the feelings of the players and what you need to have inside you to get over the line. Um, I think that'll be maybe a little bit of nerves, but you know we're playing at home in front of our fifty thousand fans. Um, it's another good team that's going to get put in front of us, another team of eleven players. So I think you know the boys will will soak it up, and um, we know the fans will be right behind us. 
and you know that's that's what we'll want and that's what we'll need and you know all all we can do is give it our best and give it our all and leave everything on that pitch and have no regrets and you know if we do that then we've got every fighting chance to to get ourselves into into a final uh, Robert, Robert Green, please Morning, James. Morning. I'm just wondering what, what you're expecting from uh, from Leipzig. It's a difficult scoreline for them, isn't it? And and do you think I mean, it's going to be some atmosphere you'd imagine tomorrow night? Do you think that can affect them? Um, I hope so. Um, I hope our atmosphere can affect them. And he's seen the, obviously the brag again. We got an early goal, and you know that really kicked us on. So we obviously would like to replicate it, get an early goal, and you know really really get after him. But <clears throat> seen really good teams come to Ibrox and you know struggle sometimes. So. I hope that is the case um, tomorrow night, and you know we we as a team we can we just got to make it as hard as possible and and try and do everything possible to 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 get the result and and obviously limit their chances because we obviously know they're going to be a threat. Um, but yeah, we just got to try and do everything possible. Uh, the last two for Matthew Lindsay and then Mike Grant, please to finish. Hi James, um, I was hoping I could ask another question about Jimmy. Would I be right in thinking that, that Jimmy always insisted if, if Rangers had won a game that, that you wore the same captain's armband in the next game as a as a kind of you know good luck uh, winning habit and and is that something that you know you plan to continue going forward? Yeah, there's um yeah that that is obviously a true story um, with the captain's armband. Um, unless it got too dirty, then we come to an agreement and say, yeah, right, I need a new one. Um, yeah, there's so many small details. It's going to be a bit strange when, when Jimmy's not obviously going to be there. But yeah, they're the they're the small, uh, small things that everyone had with him. You know, he always had something different with every other player, and that was one of mine. And you know, before before every game, he'd put my captain's armband on. So it's going to be strange. Um, but you know, I'm more determined to to do everything in my power to to make him proud. And Matthew, uh, sorry, and Michael, sorry. Hi, hi James, it's um, it's very unusual for one of the teams from the out with the top five leagues in Europe to, to get this far and to get to a Europa League final. Do you think that you might have quite a lot of kind of neutral support around Europe as, as a team from one of the smaller leagues hoping to get there? Um, I don't know. It's you know we, we obviously we obviously concentrate on you know our fans and ourselves, but if, if neutral fans are supporting us, then great. Um, you know, we we all have the same the same goal. Um, we all want to be uh, playing in Seville um, come end of the season, and um, that's what we want. And you know, we we as players want obviously want to make um, the club and the fans proud. Thank you very much, everyone. That is us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks.